to install mods in Timberborn, let's open up Safari and head on to mod.io slash g slash Timberborn. Before we can install any actual mods, we need to set up a couple of things. First, we need BepinX, which is a plugin framework for Unity based games. Here on the bottom right, we have a link to download this tool with configuration prepared specifically for Timberborn. So let's pull that in. When we open it up, we see a couple of files and directories that we need to copy into our game. To do that, let's go to Steam, find our game, right click on the title, then choose Manage and Browse Local Files. This will open up the Timberborn directory in Finder and we can move our files in here. When that's done, we need to change the way Steam launches the game. For the mods to load properly, we need to tell it to run this run underscore bepinex.sh file instead of the main Timberborn app. But first, we need to actually make it executable. The easiest way to do that is in the terminal. Here I have iTerm2, but the default macOS terminal will also work. Type in the command chmod plus x, which will allow this script to be executed. Drag this file into the terminal window to grab its full path and hit enter. Next, to change how Steam launches the game, let's copy the full path of this script to clipboard. You can do that in a couple of ways, but I prefer using option command C from the finder window. Now let's go to Steam, right click our game once again, but now choose properties. And here in the general tab, we have a place to enter our custom executable path. Paste the path that we copied, but make sure to wrap it in double quotes. This is necessary because of the space right here. Then at the end, add percent, command, percent, and close this window. Now we are ready to launch the game. If everything goes well, you should see a new plugins directory in the bepinx folder. This is where we're gonna install all of our mods. Here it is. Let's close the game for now and install the mod manager, which will make our life a lot easier. To do that, we'll go back to the mod.io website, return to the mod list and open up the mod manager. Just like before, download the mod files here. And now copy the whole mod manager directory into the plugins folder. Launch the game again and you should see this new mod manager option. Open that up and there will be a list of available mods. I'm gonna grab a couple of them to see if everything works. So for example, let's get vertical power shafts, ladder, and more platforms. And maybe this 16 maps collection. After that's done installing, we need to restart the game. Now I'm gonna start a new game with the folktaste faction and here at the bottom we can see the new maps we just downloaded. Let's choose a random one, leave the difficulty at normal and start the game. So now under the power category we see the new vertical power shafts. And here in paths and structures there are the side platforms and the ladder. So it looks like everything is working and that's the end of the setup.